Uh, welcome to the page seven ICT online uh, classes tutorials. Uh, this is the second uh, video that we are going to cover up uh, chapter four uh, for the grade seven ICT students. So we are going to focus uh, about word processing software uh, in this uh, video tutorial. Uh, and we have created uh, a video tutorial uh, previously in order to cover the, the lesson, right? Uh, today we are going to cover about uh, word processing software. Right. So uh, in this uh, lesson, we are going to cover up uh, these uh, topics, uh, which means after finishing this lesson, you should be able to uh, answer any question given from this domain covering uh, related to these uh, topics you have to answer questions uh, from uh, these uh, subtopics only right right so uh, what is the word pro what is word processing what do you mean by word processing before starting uh, before understanding a word processing software uh, first try to understand what is word processing right okay uh, composing uh, editing, uh, normally we call it as manipulating, uh, and O, storing a text-based document in any style is called word processing. That means uh, uh, we are doing uh, various types of activities uh, on a text-based document, uh, and we are adding up many, any kind of styles, we call that is word processing, right? Uh, some examples for word processing is creating letters, uh, creating birthday cards, creating invitations, right? Creating, uh, let's say, reports, theses, right? All of them are examples for word processing. So, uh, what is a word processing software then, right? Any software which facilitates word processing activities is called as a word processing software, right? If a certain software facilitates uh, all those kind of word related to word processing, so that can be called as a word processing software. Right, so here I have put uh, a note uh, that means a text editor also provide few word processing activities, uh, but uh, excuse me, this is activities, uh, but uh, they are not uh, powerful and versatile as word processing software do. That means uh, let's take Notepad for an example, and uh, WordPad uh, also an example. They are called text editors. Uh, it somewhat provides, uh, that means it provides some uh, activities and uh, options that is available in word processing software, but they are not called as word processing software because uh, they, are they provide only limited options, right? Not versatile as uh, word processing software do. That means uh, in Notepad, you cannot add images, videos likewise, uh, and uh, it is a limitation certainly. So it is just called a text editor, not a word processing software. Word processing software are somewhat versatile than these text editors, okay? Right, so uh, let's uh, search about the history of word processing, right? Composing letters and documents started a long time ago. It started with uh, writing using objects such as leaves, stone chips, and uh, skin and developed so rapidly as used to a computer software to prepare a document by now. That means uh, in the previous, uh, if you uh, search about the history, uh, you may know that uh, in early civilizations, uh, human uh, beings are used uh, several kind of sharp objects and they try to write uh, letters, symbols, uh, some example for that is papyrus papers, right? In uh, uh, Egyptians, right? They have wrote uh, several things in papyrus, right? So that, that, that's the starting of word processing, right? So uh, from that point, they have been developed up to the uh, word processing software that we are using nowadays, right? So uh, this is some kind of uh, uh, timeline of uh, the uh, evolution of uh, this software, right? Uh, in early days, they were written uh, manually using pens and pencils and these sharpened objects. And after that, uh, they used to print uh, those created things uh, using looms, uh, printing machines. And uh, then uh, uh, another invention of uh, 
uh, word process of typewriter, traditional typewriter. Uh, typewriter typewriters were used uh, up until the last decade. Now we are, nowadays they are not using. Uh, uh, that means they are, we can hardly see those typewriters are still uh, being in use, but uh, uh, computers have already uh, spread across the world and now uh, these typewriters are not in work, right? Okay, so after that, uh, uh, the keyboard is there, right? After the invention of the keyboard and the word processing software, right? So tra uh, traditional typewriter was replaced by this word processing software along with the keyboard, right? So uh, when you compare these two, uh, there are several uh, numerous uh, that means numerous advantages of this uh, keyboard plus word processing software than uh, a manual typewriter, right? Okay, so uh, let's uh, compare some advantages. Advantages of word processing software over traditional typewriter and text editors as well, right? So I told you that a text editors provides a limited options that a word processing software do. So uh, uh, let's compare some advantages of a word processing software when compared with these two types of uh, technologies, right? First one, uh, creation uh, and unlimited editing. That means in the typewriter, if you type something, it is very hard to uh, erase it. That means to delete it. Uh, and you have to uh, cut it, right? Actually, you cannot delete it, right? And with a text editor, you have that option. Uh, in text editors, uh, you can uh, re-edit it. It doesn't matter. It allows you to do that, right? Uh, then insert multimedia objects such as images. Both traditional typewriter and text editors uh, restrict this option. That means they don't allow uh, multimedia options in the sense multimedia in the sense text. That means characters, numbers. Uh, then audio, video, right? Actually, you can insert uh, those links uh, into a Word uh, document, Word process document, and it facilitates many objects, images, diagrams, etc. Right? So you can see when you're using uh, such a software, right? Then uh, saving and retrieving uh, for future usage, you can actually uh, save your documents and you can use them in the future. Uh, in future, if you want, right? So uh, a traditional typewriter, you cannot do that. That means uh, if you want to uh, create a document, you can create, but you cannot uh, use it for future usages, right? Uh, text editors, you can, but uh, it is better uh, in word processing software uh, than a typewriter, right? Uh, print previews and printing. That means before you print, it, you, it will show you what's going to be print. Right? So it's a print preview. Uh, so this option is available in a word processing software. Right? Another uh, good example is an advantage is spell checking and grammar. Spell and grammar checking. Uh, you can use this option. Uh, if you're not good at English, you can use this always. I'm using it uh, because uh, it will allow you to uh, uh, skip those uh, spelling mistakes and grammatical mistakes. So uh, this can uh, this can be a very good option for those who are weak in English, right? Uh, find and replace uh, in a long document. If you want to uh, change uh, something, you can find it quickly using a Control F shortcut, and you can replace it uh, with uh, anything you want, right? That means find and replace is also a good option, right? Then another good option is mail merge. This is only available in word processing software. I suppose that uh, you are you have been asked by uh, your principal or your sectional head to create a certain letter that should be uh, uh, mailed to uh, parents of all the students in your grade. Right? Uh, assuming that uh, there are 200 uh, uh, students in your grade, you want to uh, write 200 letters. That is yeah, that is not good, but uh, you can use mail merge option. Right? You can create letter as well as the envelope with the same template and you just need uh, to uh, insert uh, the database da data taken from the database uh, to and uh, you can mail merge it right this is a very good option if you know how to use this one right so uh, this one can, this uh, mail merge option can be used to create letters invitations uh, envelopes right so a lot of things can be done using mail merge. So these are some advantages of uh, word processing software uh, than a traditional typewriter and text editors, right? 
okay so uh, since they have they are uh, a word processing software provides this kind of uh, numerous advantages activities options so we are going to use uh, uh, word processing software we are going to practice using word processing software than typewriters and text editors right uh, so this is some introduction to different word processing software that means there are several manufacturers who provides word processing software in a software industry so uh, the best example is uh, microsoft office word uh, we have been using this word uh, application software from a uh, uh, very long time uh, right so this is the icon of uh, microsoft office uh, 2013 and 2016 right uh, this icon uh, was a uh, uh, little bit uh, differ from one version to another but uh, you can identify the theme is already there uh, this w mark and uh, it looks like a book right so this is microsoft uh, word uh, this is uh, uh, given by the microsoft corporation right so this is the widely used that means 90% uh, of the users use uh, almost statistics says that right? not me microsoft office word uh, office package users uh, 90% of the users uh, computer users right so this is very very good uh, software but you have to purchase it right you have to purchase it this is a license software you have to purchase a license before using them right uh, another one is open office writer open office writer this is the icon of open office writer uh, this is a free and open source you call it as call it as FOSS, free and open source software FOSS, right so this is uh, given by apache software foundation you can uh, download the original version from their website uh, for free, right? For free and you can uh, uh, upgrade it if you want, right? So uh, the basic difference is uh, Microsoft Word uh, facilitates more options than this one. And these, uh, these facilitates uh, very basic options uh, only, right? Therefore, uh, that's why they are uh, free and open source, right? Uh, so you can uh, use them uh, to create uh, small small documents but uh, if you want to add uh, more enhanced objects you have to use uh, uh, microsoft word or even uh, corel word perfect this is also a good software right uh, given by corel corporation right uh, then i work pages this icon of i work pages i work pages is the word processing software uh, from apple corporations so this uh, uh, this icon can be uh, found on uh, macintosh operating system so you can use it uh, if you're using an iphone or a macbook right uh, another one is library office writer same as open office writer library office writer is also a free and open source for software you can download it if you want uh, for free uh, it's given by the document foundation so uh, word writer perfect uh, I work pages, library office writer, all those are brand names. All those are brand names given by their manufacturer. Generally, generally we called all these software as word processing software, right? As word processing software because all of them are, are involved in word processing activities, right? So these are the brand names and this is the general name of their family, right? you have to remember you have to recognize uh, these uh, icons uh, at your examinations uh, you will be given these icons and you have to uh, identify what is this software right okay uh, this is the interface of uh, microsoft word uh, 2013 uh, by now uh, uh, 2010 also having a similar kind of interface like this 2013 and 2016 also having uh, the same kind of interface right uh, you will be learning uh, uh, what are the parts of uh, this uh, software uh, in a while uh, for the moment we will skip this slide so uh, i just want you to show the interface of this uh, microsoft uh, office uh, excuse me microsoft word uh, software right uh, and uh, this is the interface of uh, open office writer open office writer in the sense this is the interface of this uh, software this one Right. this one right here open office writer uh, this is the interface you see there is a, a big difference uh, when you see when you see uh, the word uh, software you see it is very beautiful and it's very attractive has a lot of a lot of options it is there but when it comes to open office writer right uh, it is not uh, as good as you can see from the appearance itself it is not good as uh, 
that word uh, software do right so uh, same things are there that means same options are there but in a limited limited manner right if uh, let's say word has thousand options this one has let's say, 250 options right likewise okay uh, anyway, we can create a word processing software. We can we can word process using this software as well. Right? This is the main uh, uh, interface of Open Office Writer. So basically, we are going to uh, compare uh, one uh, free and open source software and one uh, licensed software. Right? Okay. So uh, let's see some common editing tools available in uh, word processing software. Okay. At some tools available in word uh, processing software. Let's see. Right. Uh, if you take a word uh, interface like this, right? So you can find uh, some software, uh, excuse me, some icons uh, in this uh, space, right? So we call this uh, part uh, in Word, uh, actually, Microsoft. Uh, uh, Corporation uh, workers they introduce this part as uh, the ribbon, right? Okay, so here we have we have uh, seven uh, different tabs. You can click uh, each tab, and uh, the icons uh, below that will be changed accordingly, right? By default, uh, it is uh, set to the home tab, right? If you want uh, to access uh, the other tabs, you can click it uh, to uh, click that tab, so the icons appear on that tab will be. Uh, uh, changed accordingly. Right? So here uh, in the left hand side, uh, the blue icon file, you call it backstage, right? You, uh, when you go to the backstage, you can find uh, the options uh, after creating the document or uh, what the document has to be done. That means uh, uh, create the document, open the document, save the document, share, export, right? So you can do everything. Uh, uh, with uh, that option uh, using backstage, right? In the home tab, uh, you will see uh, the basic uh, font uh, editing uh, package is there, uh, right? You can see this is font face, font family. You can change it by clicking the, uh, this uh, drop down arrow. You can select any uh, option from here, right? And uh, the font size is here. You can change the size. You can increase the size with uh, this icon. You can decrease the size with this icon. Uh, you can uh, change uh, the capital simple upper cases lower cases from this icon you can uh, delete or erase something from this icon this b stands for bold this is a common icon right this b icon stands for bold uh, that means uh, the text will be emphasized highlighted right uh, then uh, this uh, uh, angled i means uh, italic italic in the sense uh, the angled letters okay uh, then U means underline, so you can have uh, two types of underlines, uh, not two types, many types of underlines, double underline, single underline, any kind of underline, right? And uh, here, a uh, strike through, you can cut words using this one, that means the word is there, but uh, it has been cut using a thread line. So, uh, subscript here, superscript here, so there are a lot of uh, font uh, editing uh, tools are there, you can use it. Uh, with these icons, if you want to see more icons, you can double click uh, on uh, this uh, small part. You can see that uh, a dialog box will open and uh, here you have advanced option. Here you have uh, basic uh, font options, right? So if you want to use it, you have to select the part that you want. You can use it, right? We are not going to focus on that one uh, very much. Uh, however, uh, the basic font style are there in this group, right? Font group, you can find it, huh? okay? Right, uh, then uh, uh, you can uh, call this one as uh, dialog box, right? Right, font dialog box, you can uh, find uh, all those uh, uh, tools related to fonts, tools related to fonts on this one, right? Uh, the one uh, right next to font is paragraph. Uh, paragraph uh, tools are there. Uh, you can align paragraph, you can insert bullets, you can insert numbers, you can change the indentation, right? You can change uh, the order of uh, uh, letters, right? So uh, you, can, uh, uh, sh uh, you can add some background colors from here, right? You see, right? There are several options. We are not going to focus on these things uh, very much uh, in grade seven. But when you come to grade uh, 10, you will be learning this one 
thoroughly, right? That means all of uh, uh, all of the uh, basic uh, options available in this one, you will be including mail merge. Uh, you can uh, you can do it, right? Okay. For the moment, we are just uh, concerning about common editing tools, right? You can see here, font editing tools are there, paragraph editing tools are there. You can apply styles, right? Uh, when you click these uh, styles, that will be applied to uh, the selected text area, right? You can right click and modify it uh, as you want. You can modify it uh, as your own style, right? So you can have that one, right? You can add any kind of font style to this word uh, processing software. You can import them, right? Okay, uh, right? Uh, then, so those are the soft, uh, uh, software tools that you can have. And uh, when it comes to insert, you can inst insert several objects. You can insert a picture and online, which is saved on your computer, an online picture. You can uh, insert a table, right? Uh, you can insert shapes, different kind of shapes are there, right? Flow chart shapes are there, they have different kind of shapes. You can add them, smart arts, charts, right? Anything you can add, right? Uh, here you can see that uh, they support multimedia objects such as online video, right? But video will not be included in uh, this page, but uh, the link will be uh, appear in this page, okay? Right. Uh, there are several uh, things. Uh, standard equations are there, mathematical equations are there, symbols are there, a lot of uh, symbols that will be used around the world, they are there. You can use any anytime you want. Okay. Right, then you go to this one. Uh, it, it is all about the page design. Right, uh, depending on the thing that you are going to create, that means if you're going to create a, a report or a thesis or a, let's say a letter, right, you can select some options are there and you can select some themes are there, right, already uh, which has been created, these themes are there. If you want, you can create, uh, you can select one of these themes, and if you want another, uh, your own one, you can customize it uh, with these options, right? All of these options are available, uh, and what you have to do is learn how to use them, right? Options are there, you have to learn, you have to study and learn how to use them, right? Here you can add a watermark, Right? That means once you add a watermark, you can see that that watermark is appear uh, behind the text, right? Behind the text, so nobody can uh, copy it, right? Okay. Then you can add a page color, right? Certain colors are there. You can add a page color. You can add page borders using this designing tag. Okay. Excuse me. Right. Then uh, this step uh, is for page layout. That means you can set. Uh, the pages actually this is the one you're going to use first right page layout tab uh, then you can set the page settings uh, page margins page orientations portrait or landscape page size uh, standard sizes are there a4 a3 likewise and the number of columns double column triple column whatever it is right uh, so uh, there are several things uh, that you can uh, uh, handle uh, from this one okay uh, then references uh, this is uh, to create. This is very important when you are creating a report or a, a book, something like that. So you can add table of content, uh, right? That means uh, if you write, if you uh, create the document uh, according to the steps, you don't need to uh, manually insert table of content. It will be automatically uh, included, right? Uh, many of the students doesn't know how to uh, don't know how to use uh, this one correctly. Uh, that's why uh, in the universities also people are still uh, using manual uh, table uh, inserting manual table contents and that means they are not going they are not using this one properly if you use that one you can uh, uh, can that means you can do it very easy right these things are uh, for your easiness right not to complicate things okay so this is a mail merge option you can create uh, envelopes uh, labels using mail merge option uh, that means I told you that uh, when you want to create multiple objects from this one, uh, you can use mail merge option. Using review tab, you can use, uh, this is the best option, spelling and grammar check. Uh, then uh, you can uh, translate uh, from one language to another. There are uh, standard languages are there, you can use it. Uh, and the view tab, that means the, uh, there are several views. Uh, if you use this book type one, you can, uh, see pages like uh, that appears in a book right uh, by default it is print layout that means uh, how the uh, uh, 
uh, our document uh, will be printed so it is like that uh, and uh, you can click this one to view your uh, page as a web layout that means uh, something appeared on web you can use it uh, and uh, there are some other two called outline and draft you can uh, use this one uh, to view your page as uh, given in this uh, tab right uh, then uh, you can untick uh, these things you can tick these things uh, to appear uh, those uh, those uh, applications right uh, you can see that uh, the uh, appearance will be changed okay right so uh, these are the options available uh, in our word process of the microsoft word so this is the ribbon so you are going to use this one uh, to edit anything that you want right okay to edit anything that you want right right uh, let's see let's see uh, what are the things that we have to do to next right okay so uh, these are the steps of uh, preparing a document these are the basic steps right uh, let's see uh, first open a new file or a create a file using your word processing software so i have created one here save it in the desired save it in a desired location so i can uh, go to file uh, here i can uh, go to uh, file then i can uh, save as i can click save as so it will uh, allow me to use uh, a place so i can uh, save the, the document in a desired place okay save in the computer so i can select a file right uh, likewise they, uh, they will tell me how to save it okay now for the moment i am not going to save it uh, but uh, as the first step you have to open a file and then you have to save it right you have to save it in a certain location these are the standard steps then uh, go to page layout right then you have to go to page layout page layout tab is here on the page layout tab there are several uh, options you have to select the margins then orientation right then size let's say a4 right then number of columns if you want two columns three columns likewise you have to select that one after setting the page layout only we are going to start typing right uh, when we are typing the document it doesn't matter you don't want to apply uh, styles and editing uh, while you are typing right you don't want to do that you just type right you just uh, type whatever you want right you just type it right okay then uh, you can after after finishing typing right you can apply uh, all those uh, editing that you want right go to home page you have if you want to bold you can bold if you want to italic you, what you have to do is you have to select uh, the object target object and you have to click the icon that's what you need to do right so uh, everything is possible with uh, this one uh, word uh, editing software so you can use them you just uh, uh, write to you just want to uh, type the things that you want you can add uh, images you can insert objects and you can edit them as you want after finishing that right okay then uh, save the document again you can uh, use the save button or control s uh, you can use it the keyboard shortcut control s to save the document then you can close uh, the document uh, for future usage after saving that one so they uh, they will show you a pop up uh, window uh, whether you, uh, you want to uh, save or not if the document is uh, properly saved or not right okay uh, let's say I, I say don't i don't want to save it right so i'm not going to save that one okay right so uh, the main uh, excuse me the main uh, input device uh, that is to be used with a word process of ta is the keyboard so uh, you have to understand how to use the keyboard properly right so standard keyboard comes with 104 to 108 keys and uh, these uh, keys are, are named using different names right so we have to identify uh, what is this part uh, what is this part and what does these keys do and what does these keys are used for right so what you have to uh, do is you have to first practice how to use a keyboard uh, along with uh, a word processing software right using the keyboard with word processing software it is essential to know how to use a keyboard when preparing a document with a word processing software by practicing to use the computer keyboard correctly 
computer typing can become very easy and more efficient, right? That means uh, you don't want to look at the keyboard if you are uh, good at keyboard. That means you are uh, you have spent time with keyboard. You don't want to see the keys. You can actually uh, look at the screen and type it, right? So that's the uh, standard way. But uh, uh, what our people do is uh, they look at the keyboard and uh, without looking at the uh, screen, they uh, look at the keyboard and type. So that is not a good uh, practice. Uh, what you have to do is start practicing uh, by uh, looking at the uh, screen, right? Okay. Uh, so these are the uh, types of keys used in the keyboard. Uh, number one, control keys. Number two, function keys. Number three, character keys. The navigation keys and numeric keypad, right? So uh, number one, control keys. Control keys are used. These keys are used uh, along along or in combination with other keys to perform certain actions. The most frequently used control keys are CTRL, Alter, and Escape key. Right? You can see that uh, CTRL, we call it control key, ALT, Alter key, and Escape key. So these are the uh, mostly used command control keys. Uh, with these keys, uh, there are many number of combinations such as, such as control C, control V, right? Uh, so you can uh, use them. You have to uh, remember them uh, if you are using a computer. Uh, I also can't actually remember all of these keyboard shortcuts, but uh, if you have a proper practice, uh, then you can remember at least uh, the basic things, right? So number two is the function keys. These keys are used uh, to type in letters, numbers, punctuation marks, and uh, symbols when preparing a document. Those are the function keys, right? Uh, uh, the function keys are used to perform, uh, not a, uh, uh, this is not uh, the function keys. I have made a mistake. Uh, that means uh, function keys should be the function keys are used to perform specific tasks. The functionality of the keys may differ from one program to another. This is actually that this number three should be uh, uh, function keys and character keys should be number two. This uh, two should be uh, uh, changed, right? Okay, shifted, right? Uh, then navigation keys. Number four, uh, these keys are used to move around the uh, web page or editing the text, right? Not uh, web page uh, or a word page, whatever it is, right? You can use that one. Uh, they include the arrow keys, home, end, page up, page down, delete, and insert keys, right? Uh, these are the navigation keys, okay? Right. Uh, uh, last one, numeric keypad. Numeric keypad is the rightmost keypad that appears with the numbers, uh, uh, that you can use for calculations, right? So here, uh, how uh, the keys are appeared. So control keys, uh, control keys used uh, with, uh, this is the Windows key, and uh, this is uh, the control key, this is Alt key. In modern keyboards, there is the function key with the uh, FN mark, right? It is not appeared here. And uh, these are the control keys, right? Then uh, function keys, function keys are there, uh, in the top of the keyboard here you can see function keys are there f1 to uh, f12 uh, function keys are there right then character keys uh, this is the one that i have shifted in the previous slide so character keys there are several characters uh, you call this one as quetry keyboard starting from q w e r t y quetry keyboard right these character keys uh, normally are uh, in a uh, touchpad or touch display it will uh, appear only the quetry keyboard you have to uh, remember that one right and the navigation keys here in the middle of the keyboard you can find these navigation keys the arrangement may be uh, differ from one keyboard to another that means from different depend on the manufacturer right however these keys uh, you can find uh, anywhere right however it, it will be appeared right uh, definitely it will be appear but not uh, as uh, mentioned in uh, this figure right maybe Okay, then the numeric keypad. Numeric keypad is the rightmost uh, keys uh, that will be used uh, for calculations. So that is the classification of keys uh, in a keyboard. Uh, so you have to remember this one. If uh, a diagram is given and asks you what are the types of these, uh, what are the groups of these keys, and you have to remember these are uh, numeric keys, these are characters, these are control keys, these are functions, these are navigation keys. Likewise, you have to remember it. Okay, right. Uh, then uh, the use of several uh, uh, valuable keys. So uh, use of the caps lock key, right? You can find the caps lock uh, caps lock key here, right? Right underneath the tab key, 
you can find that uh, caps lock key and uh, what does it use for uh, when the caps lock key is pressed that means it is on uh, the upper cases letters are typed that means all the letters that will be typed are upper cases if the caps lock is on right when it is necessary to type normal letters you can press again you can toggle it by pressing it again uh, to go back to the original situation right if you want to uh, insert capital letters you can uh, use uh, caps uh, caps lock key uh, when you don't want you can press again to go back to the original situation right then the use of shift key right shift key is there you can uh, find there are two shift keys right under the uh, caps lock key it is there shift key and another shift key is there in the right hand side as well there are two shift keys uh, that should be there in your uh, keyboard right there are two shift keys on the right and the left side of the keyboard. Uh, when letters are pressed with the shift key, English capital letters are typed. If the character is an uh, uh, is a ca character letter, that means that way, that is the alphabetical character, then the uppercase will be typed. Right? That means the Right, excuse me. Uh, the upper cases will be typed. That means capital letters with the shift. Capital letters will be typed. If the uh, uh, if the, car the the key that you are going to press is not a letter, then uh, uh, the symbol uh, which is on the top of that key will be uh, appeared in the key uh, that in the document if you press it with the shift key. Right? Okay. Uh, so that's about the shift key and now uh, we are going to uh, see how how to use keyboard correctly right uh, when you are use when you are sitting uh, 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 with the computer desktop computer uh, this is the correct posture that you have to follow uh, this monitor should be aligned with your eye little bit above or a little bit uh, below that means not uh, much taller but uh, lower however it should be uh, with correct distance with uh, at least 18 to 24 inches and you have to uh, use a chair with the, which is uh, supported your backbone and mouse and keyboard uh, along with uh, these uh, 90 degrees bends okay and uh, when you are using the keyboard uh, this is the correct way uh, that means straight hands you are not going to use uh, angled hands angled outward angled inward or uh, this is uh, not good that means uh, they are not parallel you have to use uh, from the top it should look like this that means parallel to each other and from the uh, side you have to see this is straight and uh, uh, the hand is straight okay so it will prevent you getting injured uh, when using the keyboard okay right so uh, if you have uh, problems with this one uh, there are ergonomic uh, keyboards uh, the name is ergonomic keyboard you can use that one if you want right <clears throat> okay so uh, refrain from keeping the wrist on the palm on the table right when you are typing uh, make sure that it is it is a, a hard thing to do but when it if, if you if you practice it you will it will be automatically uh, done that means uh, you don't need to uh, hardly do that uh, in the first few uh, days uh, what you have to do is focus on this one when you are typing right uh, it is not been ordered that uh, while typing on the keyboard both hands should be raised above uh, raised above uh, the key uh, keys of the keyboard hand should not touch the keyboard on the table so that it will prevent uh, numbness and the pain in the fingers right okay uh, pressing the uh, keys softly that means when you are using a keyboard don't press it so hard right yeah when you are even uh, when you are playing a game right so, so don't press keys very hard uh, that will may, uh, make injuries uh, on your fingertips right okay uh, and that will make uh, damages to keys as well so uh, make sure not to press keys uh, that much harder press them softly right uh, another thing is you have to give a rest to both hands while uh, not engaging typing okay right uh, the hands and uh, those fingertips will be get tired after a long typing period so you have to give a little bit of release uh, for those hands as well right so those are the tips that you have to follow when using a 
uh, keyboard. Uh, let's uh, uh, go back again and uh, let's try to remember. Uh, uh, sitting posture is important. Sitting posture is important. Placing of the hands is important. Uh, then you uh, remember those things and uh, you have to uh, keep uh, your uh, uh, hands above the keyboard when typing another point and uh, you have to press keys softly to avoid pre uh, these uh, uh, injuries and uh, you have to give a rest to your hands when not typing okay so uh, that's it for the grade seven uh, part right in the future grades you will be learning about uh, this uh, spreadsheet excuse me word processing applications more and more for the moment uh, we have just covered about uh, the basic of uh, word processing uh, applications that means what is the word processing application is what are the word processing software uh, how it uh, looks like what is the interface what are the common tools that will be appear right common tools will be uh, bold italic font uh, then paragraph right so uh, what are the uh, different software which facilitates uh, word processing activities like Word, uh, then Open Office Writer. Likewise, there are several uh, examples are there. Then how to use the keyboard. So those are the basic uh, things that we have followed in this lesson. Uh, in the next grades, grade 8, 9 and 10, you will be learning much more interesting things about this lesson, right? Okay. So uh, thank you for listening and make sure uh, if you don't understand anything, you can uh, send me questions uh, through WhatsApp uh, group so I can answer them. Uh, you can uh, uh, watch this again and again uh, until you understand uh, things. This is a very uh, uh, basic application software. So you, uh, I hope uh, you will understand with the uh, first impression, right? Okay, uh, then uh, thank you again. Uh, then uh, we will be... Uh, uh, start and we will meet uh, with another lesson if uh, the school starts immediately otherwise there will be another lesson right uh, if you talk about uh, the examination papers there will be questions up to this lesson uh, first lesson second third and fourth so, right okay so better be uh, prepared uh, until uh, fourth one i've said the paper so uh, questions will be there uh, up until uh, to the fourth lesson Okay, uh, thank you very much then. Uh, so work hard uh, and uh, uh, get ready to the uh, exam. Okay, right.